Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. That little two minute intro, that's what I got done today. <laughs> you know who I'm gonna blame for not getting anything done today? My buddy, Philly Brad. Brad uh, has lived in Texas now for a while. He came down to visit today. And uh, even though we only hung out for about an hour, I'm still blaming Brad for uh, me not getting anything done today. I had a really good time with Brad. I always do. If you remember, it's Brad's son that was could do the screaming goat impersonation. But he got a little older, so he, he lost that skill and gained others. But always good to see Brad had a really fun visit with him. Talked about Philly stuff, <laughs> which lately is losing football games. <laughs> and uh, Brad left me with a nice gift before he headed back to supervise his family. <laughs> so Brad, thank you, buddy. Really, really good to see you. And uh, don't forget to pick up that special Mountain Dew for Braden. Apparently, uh, Rockport is the only place in the world you can get a special Mountain Dew that his son, uh, Braden, really enjoys. They're working over there. I can hear them. I think that's what, what, what work looks like. Maybe power washing? Could be. They got the kayaks up. We're about an hour before sunset. And I started to get nervous because I did not have my morning video done. By the way, you're watching the morning video right now. And uh, I appreciate it. We got a boater coming in. Guys, it was about an hour ago, sunny, 73 degrees. Here comes a pelican coming in for a cruise, coming in from a cruise. And, uh, yeah, Brad and I were watching the dolphins were hunting right in front of us, and I see all kinds of dolphin action as as, as soon as they see that I'm not filming. Boy, it's like uh, it's like sea it's like Sea World out there. He's coming in. We saw uh, dolphins in shallow water hunting down game, which is always cool to see. Sorry you missed it, guys. Sorry I didn't film it. I'll get back on the horse tomorrow. <laughs> and, uh, oh, and Brad, thank you for the monster. I'm, I just opened it up now. Got my monster in for the day. But Brad's got a routine when he comes to visit. He goes, goes to the bookstore, comes and hangs out with me, goes over to the other side of the bay and stares at the water and then uh he's heading back tonight we got to talk about uh cuero texas and how uh cool that little town part of it is usually we just drive by there in cuero the highway kind of skirts the downtown area the historic section and uh Brad was checking that out today. So that's actually pretty cool. It's a it's a very nice area. Um, some of you guys have sent packages and cards that have not come yet, and I greatly appreciate it. I, I went to the mail center yesterday. Anyone anyone see Johnny Depp yet? What do they got up top there? It's uh is that like a Christmas tree or is that an actual sailboat up there or is it a sailboat decorated what the hell is that thing what the hell is that thing that's a good looking house right there but this is the sky in late December yeah I went by the mail center and it was absolutely mobbed um, my friend Benita messaged me that she sent a package and it got there today and I'm sorry, Benita, I just couldn't get close to the place. 
So I'll try uh, going over there first thing. I think they open up Tuesday morning and uh, hopefully it was nothing that's gonna expire before Tuesday. My buddy Jose told me that he sent uh, cards, priority mail, December 14th and they have not arrived yet. So uh, this, this happened the last time Jose, last month, matter of fact, Jose sent us a gift and that we thought that was lost in the mail and it showed up weeks later. So Jose and uh, Lisa, thank you very much. Uh, really kind of you guys. So uh, I'm going to do my thing tonight. I got a new episode of Reacher. It's a show on uh, Amazon Prime that I like. It's based on the Jack Reacher movies, except in the Amazon Prime series, Reacher's like all, he's a jacked up uh, dude. So it, it makes more sense to see uh, this version of Reacher beating up guys rather than Tom Cruise. But those Reacher Tom Cruise movies are pretty good. I also watched a uh, Kevin Costner Woody Harrelson movie last night called The Highwaymen and that's about the Texas Rangers tracking down uh, Bunny and Clyde so it's at least based on historical events I can't really say as to how true and accurate it is but uh, yeah pretty good movie and that was on Netflix, if you have Netflix. So the one thing I like about it getting dark so early is, and cooler weather, it gives me a chance to watch a movie at night where in the longer days and the heat, and it's coming. <laughs> oh, trust me, kids, it's coming. We, uh, I don't get to do that. So I, I get to watch movies like three months out of the year. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to have to make some uh, some changes when it gets hot. I'm going to have to start sleeping in the back of the truck again. I've been sleeping in the front seat because of the uh, respiratory problems I had before. I think since I first had it, I've only slept in the back of the truck twice. And uh, yeah. And then sleeping in the front of the truck is causing its own adverse problems. But that's what I'm doing for now. Need to get uh, my air conditioner fixed. And I guess next week I'll get some new rear tires put on the Love Shack. And we'll be back in business. Do you guys know why koala bears aren't considered actual bears? That's because they lack the qualifications. <coughs> That was horrible. That was horrible when I told it two months ago, and it was horrible today. By the way, um, coming up Christmas Day, I'm bringing back a surprise guest, someone who hasn't appeared in quite a while. I hope you're all doing well. Is that still gunshots I'm hearing? Wow, these ducks don't stand a chance. They ain't gonna make it till Christmas. Thanks for riding along today, guys. Thanks for watching.